So in that tutorial, we will look at what really influences the number of crossing overs and their frequency. And uh, of course, we know that the distance uh, is an important element because if we uh, look at two different genes and they are far apart, then uh, the long distance between them allows for several crossing overs to happen. We know that on average, on a normal chromosome, we have up to 50 crossing overs occurring. So the longest the distance, the more crossing overs you have. However, when uh, you have two crossing overs or four crossing overs, you will look like parentals. However, uh, what is important to understand as well is that the probability of a double crossing over to occur is in fact dependent on how likely you are to have a second crossing over after the first one has occurred. And that of course is influenced by the distance, but it is also influenced by different factors that are not always well understood. Logically, the probability of a crossing over happening two times is the probability of the first crossing over times the probability of the second crossing over to occur. So basically, if you want to have a double crossing over, you need to have a first one and a second one, meaning that you need to multiply the probability of the first crossing over by the probability of the second crossing over. So if we do it, the probability of the first crossing over is 6% or 0.06 because we have 6 centimorgans. The probability of the second crossing over is 12.3%, so it is 0.123. So if you multiply those two probabilities, it will give you a whole overall probability of double crossing over of 0.0074. So the probability of double crossing over is 0.74%. So with a probability of 0.74% of having two crossing overs, we are supposed to see 0.74% of double recombinants in our fly population and based on the total number of 1,005 individuals, we should see those um, B plus PR VG plus or the B PR plus VG individuals in a frequency of 7.4, so meaning about seven to eight flies that should have had those phenotypes. In reality, we have three individuals that show the double recombination. But if you look at the distance between the genes, that is not logic because we should have observed about eight. So there is something that reduced this occurrence. So something interfered with the double crossing over. So it means that once we have had one first crossing over, the second one happened less often than supposed. So um, if we have just three instead of eight double recombinants, it means that we just have about 40%, so in reality, 30 7.5% of the supposed double recombinants uh, that were shown. So we had that double crossing over only in 40% of the situations. It also means that the interference is 1 minus 40%, meaning 60%. So 60% of the time, something interfered with the double crossing over and we observed only 40% of the supposed double recombinants that we should have had in the population.